So hello guys, today I'm gonna, I have no makeup on, I'm just really, I'm chilling home in this coziest weather and just because it's the day after Halloween and I feel kind of tired and I found out that I have a lot of magazine that I bought recently and by recently I mean in this last two months. Let's go! Let it go, let it go! And I need my glasses because I won't see anything otherwise. The selection here is from InStyle with Leighton Mester on it and it's the November issue, so it's the UK one. Then still on the UK we have Mary Claire with Leading Collins and it's the October issue. Then we have a British Vogue with Taylor Swift and it's the November 2014. And then we have here the so anniversary issues, the American Mary Claire's. Okay, so let's get inside. Okay. This time I'm smarter than the last time, so I put like post-its and notes. So here we have Kaya Scudelaro, Scudelario, Scudelario. How do you pronounce it? Anyway, she's the girl who made skins. And here it's the thing that I love, 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 the biker. Oh my God, the biker jacket, it's amazing. Okay, not the shoes, but these, these jeans. It's high-waisted jeans that I'm trying to find everywhere around, but I cannot find them, obviously. So I'm just so jealous of this one here on the page, and I want them. Let's go on. I have Layton here. It's like really an amazing photo shoot, this editorial. It's beautiful. I haven't seen her in a while. I learned that now she has just recorded an album. And I really love how she sings because she has this sort of countryside mist indie countryside style. And she is really, really talented. I like her. So here you can see, see this picture. It's amazing. Also this one with the angel's wings. It's just like, it suited her. It's just like, I really like it. And then it's really nice. To go on, we have here the urban warrior and this is the girl who made the Game of Thrones, the um, Wanderer. Also here, she is so nice and her looks is just so much in contrast with the background, with the cityscape here. And of course, this is London, if you don't know it. But it's really amazing. Here's the shard and here she is. And she has this kind of really proud face. And she is really, really, really photogenic. She is so, so great. And in Marie Claire, we have this season with all this jacket with, I don't know how they call it, but the one with the wool uh, things inside. And they're really, really, really comfy and they're super, super, su super, they're super, super warm. So I like them a lot. And the other things that I really like, again, this one, no, it's just a mental, I don't like it. This one, the blanket one, they're so, so nice. Also, maybe not the Barbary one because they're kind of expensive. Maybe it's the top shown one, which is this one, or this one, which I got no idea which one it is, the jigsaw. Okay. That could be like affordable for anyone, probably. And here we have this article and it's the big old fat. And they talk about a teenage girl who have problems with their body. This picture, it just made you realize so much. She has all these little notes around her, her wardrobe that say like, you will rise, you will be, you are perfect. There are, like this one, he said, there are so many beautiful reasons to be happy. It's just like food. It's just a meaning to externate things that you can't externate in other ways. And the problem is like that right now, all the social media and our society really stands out just for skinny girls. Then we got here and we have Rosie and love Rosie. Haha, <laughs> no, it's Lily. But I'm so like, I can't wait for love Rosie to be in the cinema and be actually, it's already in the cinemas. But I can't see it because I want to hear her accent because I heard it on the trailer and it's so good even if she's American. She can do this awesome British, it should be Irish because I read the book. Yeah, and then there's Sam Claflin on that movie, so that's everything I have to say. This is the first book ever that I bought. I never bought a book before because I honestly I don't like books at all. Oh my god, first article that we can find it's about this guy here that we're gonna be so obsessed about. But I was already obsessed about when he was playing the sheriff in Once Upon a Time. And also, his shoot is made by a guy named Bo George and it's one of my favorite photographers, like fashion photographers ever. He's saying something that I really want to quote and he says like, 
Look, I have a lot of respect for the fashion industry, but when you actually break it down, it's all a little bit silly. This is like the best article, fashion article I have read in a while. It's beyond the label and it talks about perfume and how we are so obsessed with perfume, but not the perfume itself, but the name of it. So it's talking about the One Direction perfume or other perfume that have the name, just the name of the brand. So it would be the brand name or the actor slash singer name that made you buy the, the, the perfume and not the perfume and not the scent itself. So here it says things really important is that like people are into being individuals again because they're saying like in Harrods and in other big department stores you have a, a corner there where you can go and just can create your own perfume, your own scent and it's going to be so personal and so unique. And also here is a Verova scent place in the lives of other animals has evolved into the emotional world of humans. So, and then the reason why I bought this book, it's for Zoella. They have this nice article on her. How can anyone not love Zoe? Just like sort of a great inspiration. So go on. Then I have this. Oh, this one is so nice. I wanna, I wanna have like this huge. Aww. I wanna live here. I was just wondering about this one and okay, Liz Yodang, La Dure. And they say it's just like La Dure, Les Yeux, box of macaron. So they create a box of macaron made of lashes or inspired by lashes. We just don't get it. So I still don't know. Oh, I missed one post-it, one note. This one, oh, this is so fun. Because it said 20 risks every woman should take. And the first one is like climb a mountain. Okay, I haven't done it. Drive cross country, still have to do it. Ask for a promotion and rise. Hmm? Make a drastic hairstyle change, done a thousand times. Don't apologize for anything all day. Unplug from social media for a week. Oh, that needs to be done. Speak in public, done. Sing in public, done. Stand up to your tormentor. Mm, I haven't, don't think I've done. Ask someone cool on a date friend. Move somewhere far away, done. Run a road race, still have to do it. Apply for a great job you worry you aren't qualified for. I have to do it. Then leave a bad relationship, flirt with an attractive stranger, then run for office, start a business, volunteer for a cause you believe in, and say I love you first and think of something you've always wanted to do. Now do it. Oh, that's amazing. So here we have Blake and she's really into charity right now. And that's amazing. She developed like this e-commerce slash charity website and it's called it was written here preserve it's another article that says like alabama revolution of sorority row it's just like still there there's a little bit people still do see a race here <laughs> see you next time look at this bag so goodbye